okay so we've got the them off the back let's take the seal out which we were doing before I started on the back they're all new seals we've got to have all new seals all new bearings anyway so it doesn't matter about ruining any of these that one can come out I know we've got a seal on the back here it decides it's going to be a nightmare to get out so let that bearing out of there and then we've got one at the back there's a seal it's just a seal holding it in which is going to prove to be a bit of a monkey well, this is all out as I said that's all done that's all out just got to get this back out with the seal which is it's going to be a little monkey to do uh, no, I don't want to be banging and Out, decided it wants to play around. Okay. As I said, it doesn't matter because there are all new ones going on there anyway. Should have pulled that off a little. Oh dear, oh dear. There we go. God, lordy, lordy. I was holding it in there. Right, that one comes off. Save all those nuts and bolts. They will be for our conversion plate so what happens then is we've got another one which accepts the disc which I'll obviously show you and out of our way that is not needed now none of that oh that seal was knackered anyway of course well in there this one should just slide off but it's decided on there for so long it's rusty so I've got to do the same with this one as I've done with the other one I've got to take the hub off to get that off didn't want to because that ends up having to oh, I'll just have to reseal it all again uh, take a little bit of coming off not too bad once you get them off right that's what we've got we've got to clean all this surface which is neither in nor there clean all that surface I've drained all the oil out there seeing what's left inside I'll take this to the bench give that a good clean up get that off and then give it a, another good clean up uh, so we clean this up got have a new one anyway these are a little bit of movement in there but the seals were one of the seals had gone that's for sure the outer one so we'll clean that up and what we do then is a bracket that goes here that accepts the caliper then we take the other part off of the other axle that we've got which I'll show you and that's the conversion side of it we'll get to that in a minute we take that out replace it with new discs after it's been cleaned I'll show you what mess they're in and then we can clean them up same with this give them a clean up and uh, we'll take it from there the shock's got to come off that's definitely got to come off that's no good whatsoever so while you're st still here what we'll do is we'll take that off 
19 mil, I think that is. 21 for all I know. No, 19. 19 mil. So we'll take that shock off of that. Get out of our way. Save these. Remember the orientation of those. That goes on that way. There's a little re recess there. It's like a beveled over. And that goes back on the shock. That one. And when the other side goes that way. Don't make the mistake of putting it that way. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. Take the bottom one off. off that's not going right the same like I said there's the other one that's come off that way it's come off that way with the recess there beveled over not the flatting so it goes that one goes back on that way, and the other one goes the opposite way. And you've got exactly the same at the bottom here. There's a little, little tiny lip on that. A little lip on that one, and that goes on the top. It'll be off your other shock anyway, of the new one. That goes off there. There's the old shock. Uh, been somewhat, somewhat banged around there anyway. Looks like somebody tried to get hold of that for some unknown reason. Uh, okay. <coughs> okay, that's that done. We got the stand holding the axle up, otherwise that would have just dropped to the floor by now. All these seem to be okay in good order. I've checked them all out. It seems to be good. Just wants to clean up us all. Uh, right, so now what we do is we clean this stub axle up, get that bearing off of there. Hopefully, without too much trouble. The bearing, got a seal behind the bearing, but you have to get a new seal kit anyway, a new seal and bearing kit. So we do that, and I'll come back to you in a little while. Okay, as I said, uh, right, so. What I meant to say to you was what we've just done there, we've got to do on the opposite side and do everything and clean up ready. Then we've got the other axle, which is a, the donor axle, which they brought. So these again, same again, it's, so it's four times I've had to do all that. And then you've got this one, and inside this one, sorry about that noise, inside this one you've got a sensor, so it's a, a little bit earlier one or later one sorry so you've got a sensor plate that goes in there which comes off we don't need that we're having no sensors whatsoever into this one this is the old disc which is coming off and going away got new disc to go on uh, new seals to go in everything this is the part we need so we need to get the nuts out of here which I've cracked anyway now we get them off Generally, what you do is you put this disc into a wheel or wheel hub. Sorry, not wheel hub, into a wheel tire on it without a tire. That one's still a little bit tight. With the wheel out tire, you put that in, and then we can knock the disc off. Because 
them are on there and then we've got to knock this disc off so it's going to be a little pounding going on put that in there might be the old four pound club hammer but we'll see coming sorry about the noise oh where's me Big one. Get a four pounder on that'd be better. If I can find it. There it is. <laughs> Turn it around a bit and give it some whack on the other side. Here it comes. There we go. And that is that off. I'll we'll do the same to the other side. There's no point in putting on camera. There's the old disc. Obviously no good. Out the way. This is the part we need. So we've got a race in there. The race, to be honest with you, looks good. Very good, but you can have a new kit anyway, so you might as well change the whole lot. And this seal is no good. That's going to come off. Come out of the way. Everything's tight. Everything's tight. Talk about tight. Dear. Oh dear, that is tight. How tight that is, it's rusted in there, that's what the problem is. Oh dear, oh dear. I said, have new ones. The old one's got to come out first. I'm going to come out, eh? Rip. You're seeing it as I'm doing it. Still being stubborn, eh? You can see it moving, but it don't want to come out in one. Bit more bit then. There we go, it's starting. There we go. Oh dear, oh dear. Rust was old in that. Yeah, it's definitely a new one. That's uh Yeah, it's a bit tight I would say. So that's a new one of those. We have to knock the races out as well, I think. Yeah, because we can have new races in there. We've got to have the whole kit, so there's, there's no point. We've got new races as well. Let's knock them out. 
so we knock the races out while, while we're on camera I'll show you how to do it all the way around go that's one out turn it around do it the other side same again what I'm actually doing is going in there hitting on I don't know if you can see that sorry what we're doing there's a little lip in there which you hit on knocks it out and the same to the other side that I've just done uh, a beat on that all the way around. Very nice punch. Rotate it. You rotate it all the time. And you rotate, and out it will come. There we go, and out that goes. Right, so that's both races out. Everything's good in there. Now we've got to give this some cleaning. That's got to have some serious cleaning. Get seals back into that one. So I'll have to put that through the blaster. Get that off of there. That is serious. So we'll take it off of there. I'll put that old grace back in there actually put the old grace back in there and uh, it can stay in there to and this is how you put the races back in so when you've got a new one oh, I'll show you later I'm gonna put this one back in and out reason I'm doing this is to protect the edges. Easy to pop that back out. Uh, do I? I know I've took the back one off. That ain't too bad. That can all be cleaned up. But it's uh, definitely got to be blasted on that other side. That's no good whatsoever. Clean that up. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, next time. What we'll be doing is we'll be putting the new discs on and we'll be putting a conversion kit on which I'll show you how to do or try to show you how to do from start to finish and we'll see you later. Many thanks. Please subscribe. The more subscribers get the better. Better than having views. Views are nice but it'd be nice if you subscribe as well. Subscribe is a really good thing. So we'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.